Look at this beauty. Look at this beautiful lantern. You want to learn how to make one? Stay tuned. Memorial Lanterns. Hello, hello. Today we are making Memorial Lanterns. I uh, posted a picture of this earlier today in my Facebook group. And I decided since I had a couple of orders to do today, I am going to make one. So we are going to get started. Keep in mind, guys, I use a Silhouette Cameo. These, um, th everything that I do here, you can probably do in the Cricut, except I can't tell you how to do it because I don't know nothing about a Cricut. <laughs> but, um... I'm going to spin my phone around so you guys can see the process and I've already cut out uh, my the things that I'm going to use. So I'm going to spin the phone around now so you guys can actually see the lantern that we made. As a matter of fact, I'll get the stand and then I shall return. Alright, so I got you guys on my stand. My room is a mess. So this is the lantern that I already did and I have another one to do that's the uh, front I use the this comes out just turn it off I take the glasses out except for the front panel the side panel says this which is done in vinyl as well this is what's on the back panel what you see that streak like that's actually Mod Podge from the back of the picture that's going to dry clear and then this is the other side I'm going to clean it I see a fingerprint on it so I'm going to wipe that down before I uh, give it to it and then this is the front and then the inside I put the picture facing forward so that you know when the candle is lit it gives off that beautiful glow and that's what it looks like so i think i got this candle here from walmart because this particular lantern did not come with uh candles but there are some lanterns that you can buy at like michael's hobby lobby um kirkland's have awesome lanterns with candles already in them so there are some that you can buy that already come with the uh the candles that or you can just buy them like this and get your candles in bulk on amazon that's what i plan to do next so i think this one hit you know at the perfect space where her face is seen you know so close the door and that's where we are so yes that's what that looks like and let me show you actually what the the whole lantern looks like it's a nice size i want to say they said about 11 inches um this is a 12 inch ruler so it's right at about i guess right at about 11 if you're going to the top of this and now it does have this so if you count that it'll be a little bit taller than 11 inches i hear people talking about a smaller one so I'm not sure what the other size is or if this one's considered the small and that there's one a little bit larger. When I started doing these, I started making them and selling them in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. Let me get a, a smaller one to show you guys what I mean by small. All right. This is a smaller one. So you see the difference in the sizes? Okay, and this is one. It doesn't, see how this one has a door? These, if if you're gonna do these, I recommend that you get the ones with the door just to make your life a whole lot easier. But, you know, maybe you don't mind taking it apart at the top or unscrewing the bottom, whichever way you choose to get in. But this made my life easier because these little things here, you can bend and pop the glass out and do what you need to do. These, you don't have that option to do that because it's in there but you can pop this top off and just hope you don't break the inside if you want to get in there and put the picture because the whole point is being able to put that picture 
on that back glass back there, right? So this is one that comes with the candle already inside. You just provide the batteries. Now, this one I found at Walgreens, believe it or not, some years ago. I don't know if you guys know what Dinner on Block is. <laughs> Um, it's an all white event. They do it in different cities, obviously pre COVID. And I needed a lantern for my table at the time. And I thought this would be a good idea to light the table at night. And that's what I used. And then after that, it kind of just set because I came, I saw, I conquered. I've, I've, I've done the dinner on block and I don't really plan to do it again. So I decided to use my lantern to put my brother in. And that's what this one is. And like I said, it comes with the lantern. And I got this one from Walgreens. It kind of flickers a little bit. Uh, uh, this one kind of does it too. It kind of gives the flickering look. But yeah, Walgreens... It might have been five dollars, maybe I'm not sure. It was some time ago, but these lanterns I really, really like. They come from IKEA and they're nine dollars. Yes, nine dollars from IKEA. So, if you are fortunate enough to have an IKEA in your city, I'm jealous because there's none here in New Orleans. The closest IKEA to me is in Houston and you know, I'm desperate, but I need to be taking a trip to Houston for another reason other than just to go out there and buy um, lanterns. I know y'all saying, well, hell, just have them shipped. Well, let me tell you about that. I ordered these three. There were these, this is two. There's another one in the front, right? From Ikea, I had them shipped. <sighs> it took about three weeks. And when they arrived... The glass were broke. The glasses were broken. The the panels. So this one, like I said, is the one that I just created. I've shown you this, so I'm gonna go ahead on and move this out of the way. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna turn that uh, I'm gonna turn this uh, candle off because we don't want to burn the batteries that we give it to our customer, right? Cut that off, and I'm gonna take it out of there when I get ready to present it, and move that one off to the side. All right, so yeah, look at my work area, y'all. <laughs> the life of a crafter. IKEA, I ordered three of these. They come in black and white. Um, I'm gonna show you uh, some of the other ones that I purchased from the other stores that I was telling you about because, like I said, if you don't have an IKEA near you, there are other ways to do this. They just won't look like this. But I really, really, really like these lanterns. But I ordered three of them. They put them in a box with the panels in them, just like this. See, my finger's going through this one because the panel was broken, right? Um, put them in a, a box. They didn't They didn't come in individual boxes. They were just dropped, <clears throat> excuse me, in a large box so they can knock around up against each other. And when I tell you, they just threw craft paper inside the box with these lanterns and ship them. So not only are they, you know, being handled, however they're being handled from Ikea to their shipping station, then their shipping station to UPS or whoever they're using to ship with. And then once they get them between the ride and all of that stuff, getting it to me broken, three lanterns, only one came with all the panels intact. Two of them, I'm, I'm, I'm playing around trying to get whatever I can use to make two lanterns because that's the two that I have to do for an order. I was not a happy camper. However, I called them. Apparently, they understand that this is a thing and they're sending me out two more lanterns. I get to keep these, but hell, what, really? And I think they ship out tomorrow, the 13th. Um, So... I'm going to try to find a spot here in the city that cuts glass this size and buy a bunch of panels just to have on deck when this happens. Because, like I said, I really, really like these, um, these lanterns. So, what I was going to do, the way I did the first one, I took, because the panels were broken and I needed to find the good ones anyway, I just took the, all the panels out once I weeded my the, the thing that I was gonna use, I laid it on there and then wind up putting the panels back in, right? 
in all honesty, like this, 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 these all have panels. I'm not going to take these out this time. I'm just going to put them, put my images on the outside because I don't need to take that out. The only panel that you need to take out is the one that you're going to put the picture on because you have to get inside. Now, you can not even take that one out, open this door, and, you know, play with it that way. Paint it with your Mod Podge or decoupage or whatever you're choosing to adhere the picture to the glass with. Lay it down and get that done and do it that way. So, you don't have to take it out. But again, mine were broken. So, I'm lucky to have to, you know, have this one taken out anyway. Okay, so that's that. Before we get started, I'm going to show you guys some pictures of, I mean, some of the other lanterns that I have that you can go and get if you don't want to deal with Ikea. But again, if you are near an Ikea, go get them. So this is a big one. I don't want to do these anymore because they are huge, right? This is Walmart. And it has a door. See the door? But this is a $70 lantern once I'm done with it. It's very heavy. It's very nice, as you can see. And it will come with a large candle. The, the reason I don't want to do these, or if I keep doing these, I've sold three already. If I keep doing those, I will not ship those. To be honest with you, I don't want to ship any anyway, ever. Okay? These are the ones that... I got at, uh, who did I tell you guys, Kirkland's. And I use vellum sheets on this. I'll explain that process to you too. Matter of fact, I'll bring this one in the front when we talk about the vellum look. Because you might like this as opposed to just doing it with vinyl. So I'm going to take this with me when we go up front so you can see, right? All right, hold on. Let me Let me do something right quick. trying to get a picture okay so this is another one and the reason you see this image already on here is because with my lanterns i offer different phrases you get to pick two the pan the, the the lantern has four sides but you get to pick two phrases of your own because i automatically give you this one on your front door and you get to pick two other ones. You get to pick one for the side. Whichever one you pick for the side is automatically going to go on the other side. And you get to pick one for the back. If you want four different quotes on each side, then that's extra. So this is why you see this already here. Because I, I like to get started early. I haven't done that yet to the back. So this is my small size. I want to say this was a $9. I'm not really sure. But just go to your Kirkland's or, you know, wherever. I really like, I love the look of the vellum. It's very nice. Okay. And then, I think this is Michael's. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know there's a tag on it, but I can't tell you guys where it, come, where it comes from. But as you can see, it does not have a candle inside. But like I said, you can go on Amazon and order these pre-lit candles or whatever you want to call them in bulk and that way you have them because these are my medium size ones all these up here now are my medium sizes they just styled differently so i have two like this this one has a door and it comes with a candle i really like this one and that might be hobby lobby or michael's Yeah, you see how big that candle is? That's gonna be a nice one when somebody orders that. But I think I'm just gonna go with the small. These might wind up being, I don't know yet. I'm, I just know that I don't wanna do that size anymore. So once that one's gone, that's it. But guys, this is, uh, people really like these. And I'm gonna show you how to make one. So let's do it. Let's get to it. I'm sorry, y'all get to see my space. Okay. 
This is the vellum look. You can get vellum sheets. It's uh, sheets of paper that look like this. I get mine from Michaels. They come in a pack of 10 or you can get a pack of 100. I got a pack of 100 obviously because I might be doing a whole lot of these. Or you can do the vinyl look. Vinyl, your um, adhesive vinyl that'll just go directly onto your glass. You just have to weed that out. Vellum, you print that directly onto the sheet. There's no weeding involved. I like the look of both. I prefer to use vellum, especially when you get down to those small, intricate letters and weeds, or when you have an image that's um that have a lot of little fancy or curved letters that you know that might not weed properly so that way you don't have to worry about with that so that that's an option for you all right so we're gonna put this one on the side I'm gonna bring this over here so remember guys this is vellum we're gonna move this on the side okay now i want to talk to you guys about the choices i have two sheets that look like this is what I offer in quotes. So remember when I said, sometimes you find those that like this one, the in loving memory could be a little weird because the font's different. Or when someone we love is in heaven, that that's a little weird depending on the pain size. If it's a short pain, well, that's gonna be small. If it's bigger, then you have a little bit more uh, leeway to play with your words. You don't have to worry about losing a letter or an apostrophe or something like that. So you that's you know a concern that you may have. And the other sheet, I have two of those that I let people choose their fonts. All right, give me one second and let me find the second one. Alright, this is not good. This is not this is not good. Well, anyway, I have two sheets that I allow people to choose from. That's not what the video is about, but I just wanted to show you how I go about letting people choose. They are actually on my website, and that's how they pick which quotes they want to use on their lanterns. Right, right. All right, so let's get to the important part. How to. So you get your lantern, which is here. And like I said, you can take the glass out or you can leave the glass in. See, this one's kind of, see that kind of chip right here. This is Ikea, Ikea. Ikea, you know, you, you, you didn't, I, I, I just, I, I wasn't happy. I just want you to know that, but it's fine. Hopefully you get it right the next time. Okay. All right. So the first thing I do, like I said, guys, I use a silhouette. We're going to move this over. I use a silhouette cameo. This is the picture that you just seen. This is, uh, so also on my email, when you order with me, I have you email the pictures that you're wanting to use to me so that I can play with them when I'm uh, doing your lantern, right? All right, so let's go to Silhouette because Silhouette is the program I use when doing my lanterns. And like I said, these this is all of my quotes. I use these quotes on everything memorial that I do, whether it's a candle, whether it's uh, my ornaments, whether it's my jars. These are the quotes that I allow people to choose from. There's a video already up on my page that shows you how I do the jars. And I think in there it mentions the candles. I will do a video later on how I do the candles. Okay. I'm going to post this one as soon as we're done. So I really don't have no, no plans on editing this. I, I just hope I really don't have to. And yeah. So. Like I said, this these are the files that I use. I, um, memorial quotes is how I have them saved in my silhouette. And then, so what I do is take 
my lantern. If you're gonna uh, leave your pane in, which is fine, just get your ruler. Uh, let me let me back up a little bit. Every time somebody does something, people always say, "Well, what size are you using?" You, I. It's hard for me to tell you what size I'm using because that size might not work for you. So the best advice that I can give to you and anybody else out there that's asking other people what size image they're using for a particular product, even if it's the same product you're going to go to the store and get, you plan to do the exact same thing. Size it yourself. Size it to your liking. Get your own sizing. Okay, that being said, if you're going to leave your pain in, just get your ruler and you can, you know, gauge it here, right? Let me pull back a little bit. So I know I need my image to at least be four inches wide because according to the inside of this ruler and this pain, it's four inches wide. That's with it inside, right? Now, this is a pain the same pane that's outside. If I put the rule on here, it's a little bit over four and a half. So I, even if I made the image this big, as wide as this, it might get blocked by the border. So the best thing to do is just size what, what you're gonna, the, 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 the spot that you're gonna play with. So we're gonna just go with four inches across, right? That's, that's how we want our decal the size we want our decal. And as far as length, do the same thing. Take the pain. Let's go up and up this way because this is this is blocking me. Right? So we're gonna take the ruler and the pain, and it looks like right at right up under six. So we're gonna say six inches. So we know we want six by four. We want our image to be inside of six by four. Put that on top of my sublimation printer. So we're gonna go back. I don't know what happened to my images. Something happened. I'm gonna just hit undo because I don't know what happened, but here we go. Okay. So in your silhouette, we said six inches down, four inches across. And like I said, these are all of the, the images that I use. Now, let me just bring this down. This one, every square on the silhouette is an inch. So we say four inches across, right? So I count squares, one, two, three, four, and then I can go six down, one, two, three, four, five, six. I know I want my image to sit in here. One, two, three, four, the butterfly is good because it's still within that four. This might be better. One, two, three, four. The butterfly is still good because it's still within this four. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. I still have a whole road out here to play with. So guess what I can do? I can bring this down a little bit. Right? Now that might be too far because I came all the way down to the line. And we don't want that. And besides, I like to kind of give it a centering look where it's not really taking over the whole pain. So that's what I would go with. So now that I know I've measured this and that's the size of three, at least three panes on the, on the lantern, if I choose another quote, say I wanted this one, which I do not recommend doing with vinyl because you see how small those letters are? Even if I sized it, see how I'm sizing it? It's smaller right now, right? I know I want it to be at least this big. So what I would do, click on it, and make it bigger and that's about the size that's right about the size of this right and then i would just sit it right here next to it same with these if i wanted to use this one then i'd size it about the same size as that and this one now if you're gonna start printing these i suggest printing use use all your vinyl don't just print three and you got a whole sheet of black um, adhesive vinyl on your mat. Use them all. 
print them all, weed them all, because you know at some point you're going to have to use them for your lanterns anyway, and then you know you're saving yourself a step. Unless you have some other things that you're going to need to cut using black. Hell, add that to it. If you need a black name or something for another project, put that on here and use that that vinyl with that. Like, don't we don't waste uh, product around these parts. You hear me say that a lot in my videos, that we just not doing that. We ain't doing that. So, that's that. So, with that being said, I don't think I need to do that because, like I just told you guys, when I printed the ones I did with that first lantern, I printed the whole sheet so I have what I needed for the second lantern. I just kind of wanted to get on here and show you the process of how I do that. But I do think that I am going to need another quote. But that's when I go into my stash of uh, pieces of vinyl and find that. I also want to show you the vellum options. Now, I never mix vellum with vinyl. It's the same thing. This is what it looks like printed on vellum paper. This is what it looks like with vinyl. See how I lost some pieces trying to weed it? I still keep this in case I print up another one and it doesn't do me great. Then I can pull from this. So you just because you messed up one, don't throw that out because you could probably use those letters on something else. Hold it now. We don't waste no product around these new parts. Got it? Good. All right. So like i said let's get down to it i think i need another one that says your wings were ready so let's just add some more to it and then we are going to i'll just show you the process we'll, we'll just do it All right so we gonna do this one we are not doing this one we, we, mm -mm. if i ever get somebody that orders this particular quote right here, they're definitely getting a vellum lantern. And that's another way that you can make a decision, you know? So I know Father's Day is coming up. So what I'm going to do is take this one that says my dad taught me. And then I'm going to make that big because it's, it won't be a waste. Father's Day is coming up. And, you know, there's some people out there that don't have their dads. And this one can be used and like I said I need to fill up the 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 cut now because I'm doing all of this this is going to take a while but what I'll do is still try and work on the lantern assuming my machines let me be great and not overpowering me talking to you guys while I do it and then I think I'm going to choose um your light another oh i got that one right here so i don't need to do that let's choose um, any of these over here this one's so small this one's so small all of these types are definitely your your vellum lantern ones because i need to separate them that way like you can go over here and be vinyl you can be vinyl i'll do that another time we don't have that here that's not why you guys are here <laughs> let's not do that let's try this one i like it all right let's make that a little bit bigger All right, so I just made that a little bit bigger. I guess I can make it a little bit wider too because it can be. Now the front panel of this is not as wide or long as the ones on the side. So like I said, the front panel, I give you that. And I usually use this lantern is lit or your light shines on the front. 
I see. I do that because it's a lantern, obviously. This one has an image of a lantern in it, so I like to use that one. And this one mentions the word lantern, so I like to use that one. So either you might get the choice of either one of those. So if you purchase from me and you choose one of these, I always let you know that's the automatic you get now. And so please choose another one and then we'll go from there. So we are going to get the vinyl and then we are going to let that roll. And then we're going to move on. Or I know that's going to be too loud. So y'all just act like that's cutting. <laughs> right? Okay, cool. So this is the one that we're working on. Now, like I told you, you can leave that on or you can take that, take these panes out. And remember, I also said that you whatever image you choose for the sides that's what you're going to get on both sides and what they chose well what you're going to get is your wings were ready because she chose that so that's going on both sides now in this one i lost my y and on this one i lost my d and my y so i have to print that anyway now is that one that i chose up there so i'm glad i looked at that because it is not so i'm going to have to I don't even want to use that one because I really like this one over here. So I'm going to change that. But we'll get to that because, it's, again, that's printed already. Uh, we're going to use this one. A piece of my heart is in heaven. And we're going to use this one for sure. Right? So actually, that's that's your four right there. But I, I love, love, love this cardinal one. But I lost my win. And I think that's on the other one. So we don't want to use that. So we good. Now, oh, here's the cardinal one. Now those cardinals are actually red. So I left them black here. I'm gonna take a piece of red vinyl and go in and cut this again. I'm not cut everything else. We just cut those birds and put those birds on the lantern in red. That's gonna be beautiful. I'll um, show you guys what it looks like at the end of the video. So I guess I'll have to edit it because I have to put that picture in to show you guys what the lantern looks like. So we are moving on. We're going to act like we just cut all of that and we weeded it. And this is what we have, right? Now, if you see in this one, I lost my eye. Remember when I said hold your pieces because, you, you know, you might find something that you can use. Right? And... Um, I could use the eye from one of these. I might have another piece of something somewhere else. But we're going to put it on there because we can always cut out an eye and then we can just add it to it later. But that's where we are, right? So when I'm out of uh, contact paper, I get this paper. This is uh, contact paper from Walmart in the long row. And that's what I use to lift my vinyl. Yes, it is. So we're going to get scissors. Cut out a little piece of that. And I get my little stick. From uh, where did I get this? Where did I get this stick? This piece of this comes from Harbor Freight. It's like dental tools, and that's what I use. Move this lantern out the way. Put this down, and we're gonna use this space up here. All right, so because we love someone in heaven, there's a little bit of heaven in our home. We're going to use that. So I take my contact paper, lay my image down, or you can lay your contact paper down and lay your image on top. Right? 
Might be easier to do it that way if it rolls and then flip it over. And give it a good rub down. Keep you some alcohol near. Good old 91%. Isopropyl. Mm-hmm. And wipe down our glass. Now, that piece there is going to go on that panel that's taken out. Because remember, the cardinal, well, the image with the lantern is going to go on the front panel. And the, your wings is going to go on each side. So this one is going to go on the back. All right, so let's get that glass. We're gonna wipe that down with the alcohol. I should have uh, gloves on. Put that from touching it once I've wiped it. Right? So we're good there. Lay that down. Take your image from the uh, vinyl sheet. And I need to stand for this because I'm going to make sure I get this right in the center. And just lay it there. And rub it in. That's what we look like. So we're gonna rub that in. And remind ourselves that we need to put an eye on here before we ship this off or give it to its uh its owner. Once you do that, peel slow. I like to peel on an angle. And you can you can use this sheet. Again, if you peel it right and don't let it roll up on each other, on itself. And that's what it looks like. Okay. So that's your back panel. That's going to face that way because the picture that I'm going to use is going to go on this side, which faces the candle. So we're going to sit this aside. And then we're going to go to the Your Wings. We're going to use that same contact paper. That's going to me do the whole process even though I'm missing pieces but I'll go back and get those pieces. Don't you worry. Don't you worry about a thing. Lay that down. See how it's starting to roll up? see me do it with the glass still attached to the lantern. I'm not going to use this sheet anymore. Uh, twice is enough for me with this particular contact paper. So I'm just cutting out the excess. It's just going to make my life easier when it's time to put that on here. Trash this. All right. Okay. Now we said this was side panels. So get your alcohol. Catch that inside. And catch that outside. Let's just do it all. You can even decorate, like put a ribbon around up the top of it. It's gonna be real cute. It's gonna be real cute. I always do my stuff, y'all, and I sit here with my God, that is beautiful. That's how I admire my own work. So that's what we're doing with this one. And we need to remind ourselves we need a wine for that ready. Getting ready, getting ready, getting ready, ready. So once you rub it in, peel it off. And 
If you're good enough to eyeball it, then eyeball that thing. So just make sure it's straight. So I'm gonna turn it sideways. And then I'm gonna stand up. So I can see, instead of trying to look at it through the camera while talking to you guys. So we are going to go for this. Right? Standing back up so you guys can see it. And that's that. So now, and rub that in. And y'all, these are beautiful gifts. People, like I said, they love them. And it looks like I need to get these little squiggly lines for heart as well. But I'm going to show you guys something. Right? Because remember I said you keep the pieces. So that's trash. That was the other one that I had. We are going to, you can either see it, it pulled it off too. And see, this is what I meant by little, little thin pieces. Sometimes you lose them. And so I could either wait until I print the other one because I have to put another one anyway, just so I can get the rest of my letters. Or I can just take that completely off like it wasn't there. But I like it with that. So I'm going to give it that and then I'm going to put that wide there. So we're going we're gonna to keep it moving. I'm going to get another piece to put this on the other side. Now, if, if this side here that I need for this side was here, I would have taken it from here and put it there. If the Y was here, I would have taken it from here to put it here just to make sure that this was completely done. And then I, then I would have saved this as another piece for later if in even I missed something. That's why I say keep your pieces. Okay? So that's that. We got two pans down because remember, we did this one. This is the one that's going to sit. This is the back. This is what's going to be here and the picture is going to be on the other side. And then this side is going to have the opposite of this, your wings, which is this one. We can do that. Unless you guys see me do another one. You get another piece of contact paper. I got a couple of t-shirt orders to do today too. I might do a couple of videos today and just put them out there. Unedited. Because those are the best ones. Well, I keep saying that. But I feel like I have to edit it because... I have to add pictures to it. I, you guys need to see the pictures and you don't get to do that if you don't edit them, you know? So I need to stop saying that. Stop saying that. Now this is me. Scratching on top of my laptop. One of them is me because this is the other one. Ooh, look how filtered it is. But I use a double screen when I use that. All right, so we pull that off. And again, I'm going to lay this down because I know I'm showing you guys, but I need to stand up. And I guess while you're at it, if you're trying to get this from Ikea, there's some information for you if you're looking for, like, the, the item number and all of that good stuff. And so we are going to put this one right about here. trash that little piece okay so now that's uh one two three three sides down and we need to do the door and the door we said what did we say we were going to do i think i have to cut a piece 
Now, did this one have cardinals on it? You know what? I'm going to use the cardinals on this one because it's small enough. It'll fit. It doesn't have lantern in it, but I'm giving you a choice. And it's one of the images she chose anyhow. So that's what she's going to get for that one. Right? And it doesn't, it's not duplicated. So we're good. So what I'm doing here now is cutting it down to size to make it easier for me to put it on that front door. I cut in here because I don't need that. be good that's gonna be good and again guys because I have you on here I am gonna stand up and lay that on there because I didn't take it out and that's what we're looking at and remember those birds are gonna be red once I've done with this part I am going to show you guys how I do the pictures. And that's going to go right in there. Sweet. I feel like that would have been dope if I had put it right down here on the bottom. Would have been real nice. I think it would have been real nice. I could take it off and start over and bring it down a little bit. But either way, you'll be able to see the image that's going in the back. And if I can't and I don't like it, I am going to take it off and I am going to push it down to the bottom just because I feel like I like it better down there like that. But we'll see. Because it's cool either way. Once those red doves get on there, it's going to be dope. So you have watched me do a complete lantern as far as the, um, the decals go. This is the front door. This is one side. I'm gonna go back and print another one of these and get the letter that I need to fill this up and put this here. Same thing for this side and the back panel, which is this one. And this is, the picture's gonna go on the inside of here. So let's get to the picture part of doing a lantern. Now, you can, Assuming I was using this picture, which is the first lantern that you guys saw me do, this was I was choosing between vellum and photo paper, trying to see what the difference would be and how I liked it, and I liked them both. So you can do vellum paper; it just gives you the look of vellum, and like I said, that goes on this side, which allows you to still be able to read what's on the back and see the picture from the inside you just have to decide if see how how clear you can see those words through her face though that's the thing about having vinyl on the back of the vellum all right so here are my images and here is the other one of this one so we're gonna cut these out. And then we're gonna get our Mod Podge. I use a paper cutter. I'm pretty sure that came from Walmart. Walmart, Walmart. we have gotten the images we want to use 
you get a Mod Podge or Decoupage. I decoupage uh, wine bottles, that's why I have that. And we get our paintbrush and pour a little bit in the top and see that clump? I don't know what that is, but you need to come up out of there. That means I probably didn't uh, close it back right. I should have shook it up a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. Since we know we need to add a picture to this lantern, I'm going to do the back of this and put it on the inside of this one. So let me, let me do this. Let me show y'all what I'm doing. Right? This is where this one's gonna go, right here. I could actually cut off some more, so I'm gonna cut off a little bit more of that, but it's gonna sit right in here. Or I can just make it go that high. It still be clamped in by that, even though it'll be adhered to the glass, but you'll they'll be facing each other. And then the front would have that border. So now I don't know how I feel about that because maybe now is where the vellum is going to be the best idea for that. I like that better because you can see through the picture and not have that white. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> see, listen, you got to figure it out. Like I said, you got to do what's best for you. So what I'm going to do is print. I'm going to use. I'm going to do the same thing on both. Except the pictures are going to be opposite. This picture is going to go on the inside of this one. Looking back, and the parents are going to go on the back. It's much smaller. We'll see. All right, I'm going to work on that. But I do know that I want to print their picture in vellum in this size. So I'm about to do both. I'm going to print that, those, all of these things right here, again, on vellum paper. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, let's recap. So I use a Silhouette Studio, right? That's what I do my uh, designing in. And... <clears throat> Excuse me. We talked about where to get the lanterns, which is IKEA. Um, beware of how they ship because shipping sucks. <laughs> um, but if something does come broken, they will replace it for you. So that be you. You should be okay with that. Um, I cut out a full sheet of whatever, a few different um, designs and quotes that I use when I sell my um, quote choices. This is one and I have another sheet like this with more on them, which is right here. So these are the two sheets that I use on my site to let people choose from as far as quotes unless they wanna come with their own. I print them on one sheet of a uh, Oracle 651 using my mat. I cut hard, y'all. Look at that. All right. And then once I decide on my design, remember I said I cut pieces and I saved my pieces because sometimes you might lose a letter or two, which I did. So I went back and I fixed what I was missing in here, added the, the everything to ready and the, the extra little apostrophe to both sides because that's what I was missing. So this lantern is complete. We did talk about um, photos using vellum sheets or using actual photo paper. And when I mentioned it to you guys, I think I said earlier in the video that I like to stick with one method completely. Meaning if I use vellum, then I would use vellum in the whole lantern. And if I use photo paper, then I would use photo paper in the whole lantern. Well, that would be the case if I was only doing a lantern 
with one photo, which is normally what I do. So normally when I do a lantern like this, I have the photo sitting in the back side panel, just like this one is. But with this particular order, she wanted her mom and her dad and her sister all in one lantern so she can gift them to her other sisters, right? So the only way that I can do that to make it make sense instead of just putting photos either on each side, which I could have done, but I've already placed the one on the front because no one is the front is just the words where you can look through to see the candle if it's inside. Well, since she wanted two photos, you can, like I just said, you can do front the door and the back or do the two on the side. But since I've already did the door, no, the one in the back, I wanted to go ahead and just do the front. And so since I did the front and I want to still be able to see through it, it's, you see, it's kind of, you can still kind of see the face through here. Well, I use vellum sheet on that because I did not like the way it looked if I had used white. This is photo paper on the back. I don't mind the photo paper on the picture that's up against the glass in the back because it gives a white background back here and you can read clearly what the quote says. And I didn't mind the picture in front because it's vellum. You're still able to see the candle through it. And at least you still, through the sides, you get the side view. So the option is yours if you choose to do two pictures. I think I would stay away from pictures all the way around unless you're doing vellum all the way around with no vinyl because the vinyl takes away from the vellum. You can just write on your vellum. Um, this one, we corrected. I think I was missing. I know, I think this one was the first one I did and it was fine. The only thing I needed to add was the image. And so I did the same thing on both. I used the mom and dad in the back on photo paper. So it gives the full white background. And then this is a vellum sheet on the front. And the way that that's gonna look, once we turn the candle on, right? And sit it in there. You see, you can still see. Now playing. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> you can still see through the front, even with the words and the silhouette of the front picture. So I, I was okay with that. If I had done that using photo paper, you wouldn't be able to do that. It would just be blank and white. And I didn't want that. And I still want you to be able to see both images from the side. And if you look through the sides, you can see the family looking at each other through the candle. So that was my logic on that. These candles are now, candles. These lanterns are now complete. I do need to add the other candle to this one. And like I said, you can decorate the tops. You can add like maybe a ribbon around here if you wanna do more with it, put like a rose or something on top or maybe you can just sell them just the way they are. But of course, the more things you add, the more pricier your item will become. So that is my take on the Memorial Lanterns. I really like the way they came out. Thank you guys for watching. Please uh, like, subscribe, and follow uh, my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.